have you ever played a board game and thought this game would be better if it had the plague? I'm sorry, Carcassonne, but it turns out that you have the plague. No, no. I mean, if it was about the plague. Oh, sorry. I'm so bored. I wish this game had the plague in it. Well, it's no more. Because Radis is the game for you. You weirdo! Yes, I fist my wits! Actually, it's about rats, not fists. Anyway, joining me today to help teach this game is a princess. Well met! It will be my pleasure to assist you. The duck? Thanks for getting me out of the box. It was dark in there. I'm my dad. Have I got a joke for you? What's brown and sticky? Huh, I don't know. What? A stick. Ha 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 ha. Um, anyway, today we're going to teach you how to play rabbits. Ah, I'm scared of rats. But look at the cover. It's so cute. Nothing to be afraid of, dear duck. The go of the game. Bunch of silly things. And two hours later, someone went. Not this time. The goal of the game is to help your people survive the plague. I love helping people. The first thing we do is seed the board. Duck, what are you doing? But you said to seed the board. Each turn has three phases. First, you can absolutely take a character card. Even if it's in front of another player. I'll take my daddy, the king. Me? I didn't know I was a king. Not you, daddy. My daddy, the king character card. A king, for instance, allows you to move one of your people into the castle, where they will be safe of the remainder of the game. I'll take the duck character. There is no duck character. Then I'll take that monkey card. No, that's a monk. He lets you move a rat on the board. Other characters... Let you add additional people. Run away from the rats and even make the plague faster. There's no limit to how many characters you can have and you can use all of their special powers each turn. Oh, I'll just take all the characters. I win! <laughs> There's a downside to be having characters too. Uh oh! I'll just get rid of them then. But you can't just get rid of them either. Which is for sale who wins a wits. Have to wait for another player to take the character from you. The second phase of your turn is adding people. You can add as many people as there are rats. So if there were three rats, I can have three people. Who wants to live where the rats are? Yuck! You can also use your special powers during this phase. See, I knew it would work. I'm so smart! Which brings us to the final phase of the turn. Moving the pig marker one space. The plague marker shows where the plague will strike next. I think I'll move it right over here. Then you flip the rat tokens over one at a time. If the number of cubes is equal or more than the number on the token, then the plague strikes. 
The rat show you who is going to lose a cube. Find the reason. Whoever has the matching symbol loses a cube. That's one for the king, one for the knight, one for the girl. The game ends when all the rats are on the board. All the remaining rat tokens are flipped and evaluated for one massive final peg. Whoever has the most cubes left on the board is the winner. Doc, we have the most cubes. We win. Hooray! Gumbo, gumbo. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to see more of the same. I'm Dara Teachers on Twitter. I'm Dara Bunny, and thanks for watching.